That's right, last summer I suffered a hell of a lot for lack of rainwater. We had a really, really hot summer here in Somerset, but today it has been raining and that excites me because the use of this simple old humble ball cock and that second-hand 1,000 litre container from a farm around the corner, I am developing a climate change busting rainwater system for my entire vegetable garden. Stay tuned, a couple of minutes only, and I'll show you how. Yeah, that's right guys, so if like me, you suffered last year from a quite a serious lack of water and lack of rain, I mean, it got 40 degrees here for about a week and a half in, uh, in Somerset, which is almost unheard of, but it may be more and more common. So I'm starting to fortify um, uh, myself against those sort of problems in the future by basically trying to store water as much as possible. So here I've got a 1000 litre tank in this vegetable garden, which is, you know, it's quite sizable um, when it's sort of fully operational, it can feed the entire household, no problem at all. Um, and I've half sunk it into the ground and that's to just sort of make it disappear a little bit and um, put a bit of timber on top and use it as a bench, right? So it's not so much of an eyesore. I fill this through rainwater, which is gravity fed from a further two of these coming off a, a, um, a gutter rainwater system about 150 meters in that direction. I'll show you now, you can see it. Yes, yeah, so this is the head of the system really. You know, clearly I'm draining off the roof. Um, there's the gutter there, the downpipe, and it goes straight into a, a bend, if you like, and just drains straight into the top of this um, IBC tote, and that's connected uh, to that one by a bulkhead connector at the base. Well, it's actually about, let's call it about a quarter of the way up um, between uh, this one and that one, which means as this fills up, that one will fill up, of course, but by not doing the bulkhead connector at the base, doing it a little bit above. If, if you do get some sediment build up in, in time, because you will do, I mean, I'll do my best to keep the crud using that sort of brush system outside of the gutter, but it's, you know, it's almost impossible. Um, it just ensures that it doesn't get to uh, that tank. What I didn't want to do is to like, m manually fill this up every time I used it. So I've developed a really simple system, which I'm sure all of you can probably guess by now, to make sure that this continually fills itself up, but doesn't overflow. And of course, the good old humble stopcock is the way of doing it. So you can see just under my finger there, there's a green uh, hose lock connector. Well, that's the end of the hose, which runs, um, like I say, about 150 meters and probably about 25 feet of head uh, up in that direction. Um, yeah, and, and effectively it runs through through the bulkhead of that to and connects to that sort of brass thread. I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with these, but if you aren't, it couldn't be any simpler. You've got two screws on there, so you can you can imagine the IBC container going. You know, you've got to drill a hole that's perhaps 19 mil, I think. You thread the first section through. Let's say, if you can imagine, that's the container now. So now poking out is that section of the thread uh, and the, the ball cock is inside the tank obviously you then screw these up and you nip them up you don't have to go too tight because the good thing about this is is that when it floats and shuts off the valve the water level is going to be just under the level of these that brass fitting which means you don't have to make that completely lucky watertight because the water is never going to get to that height and then spill out great right um, yeah, so once you put that in place, you can just connect on the other end of it, uh, a simple hose lock connector, so then you can snap onto it if you wanted to. You could be a bit more adventurous and have wider bore, water pipe and the like if you wanted to. I haven't done it. I've just used standard garden hose and it seems to be working absolutely fine for me. One piece of advice, I would screw in as high as you can, but try not to keep, try not to put it on a down angle so you can see top of this tank is a bit hipped if you're using one of these but well, if you go really high give him noisy little bugger then you can imagine it would be the ball cock would be pointing downwards and you're actually going to lose that can't go up too high and you're probably going to lose maybe you could be you could lose almost a quarter of the capacity of this tank just by misplacing uh, this ball cock so be careful you don't do that 
So yeah, a really simple system, guys. Couldn't recommend it anymore. Get yourself a thousand litre tank, ball cock, some rainwater, away you go. Like always, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, no bother.